Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. And over there, we have John Lewandowski. Hi, John. Hey, hey. Well, as you can see up above us, we have a reason why we're here. But that's not the only reason we're here. So, but we've, we've got quite a few reasons we're here. So, right. Hope you're here for grab your coffee, grab something to bite to eat, and stay a while. We got some good stuff for you. Yeah. So, uh, today, just off the start, when we woke up this morning, literally, for some of us, <laughs> um, the uh, Florida Everblades signed uh, defenseman Alex Jackal. Jackal. One of the two pronunciations is right. I will make the confirmation within the next 48 hours. Yep. Um, he is signed for the 2021-22 season. Uh, last year, he... Uh... Um, okay, I might need to go to here. Sorry, folks. Uh, he played last. He did not play last year. He last played for the Norfolk Admirals half a season with three goals, five assists, eight points plus four. Then played 21 games for the Adirondack Thunder. Uh, one assist, 16 pims. So he does stay out of the box. It's plus minus as if he, depending on the team he's on. Yeah. Given most players. That's all I got out of it. It is really not really a lot. Um, he is six foot three, one ninety-eight, right-handed shot, rarity in defensemen. If he's a left defenseman shooting right-handed, that's great. <laughs> right. If he's a right defenseman shooting right, eh, maybe not so much. <laughs> You always want to be a left defenseman shooting right because you're shooting off on your side of the offensive zone into the into that hand. Right. So it, it does give you a bit of, of an ability. Uh, ability, sorry. Um, in other news, we got more transactions for you just to get this stuff out of the way real quick. The Nashville Predators have assigned three of the uh, of their prospects to their respective junior teams. Um, they two have them signed, are on the screen. Yes, two of them are on the screen. One is uh, first round pick Zachary LaRue. Uh, he is being assigned to the Halifax Mooseheads. I am going to uh, exit all goon jokes here. <laughs> hmm. um, and then we have uh, Jack Matier. He is joining the Ottawa 67s. Um, in the OHL, so you got yeah. one in the major juniors, you got one in the OHL, and well, we got Luke Prokop, uh, made news for uh, being the first openly uh, NHL signed uh, gay hockey player. Yeah, still yeah. in the cap, even though I don't got a hat on for the first show in a while. Um, uh, he will be joining the Calgary Hitmen. Um. LaRue, LaRue is going to be, I, I have this feeling um, he will be doing some, after his season in juniors is over, he will most likely be assigned to Milwaukee unless okay. the Preds feel he's ready. And all right. depends on how he plays in juniors. Yep. Luke Prokop, same thing. Um, after this year, he is not eligible for juniors anymore, so he will be coming to the Admirals at the end of the season. Most likely, since they're starting ahead of us. Yeah. Uh, Matir, um, he will probably be there for at least one more year after this. Right. Um, to my recollection, he is... 18 years old, six foot four, right handed shot defenseman. Um, yeah, he will be with the Ottawa 67s. He has one more year of eligibility after this year in the um, OHL. Um, other than that, the uh, Preds 
play their next game against the Tampa Bay Lightning on Thursday, September 30th. Uh, that game will be on the um, Nashville Predators, NHL.com slash Predators. Go there, click on the video uh, tab on their, your uh, computer and hit uh, um, at about, if you're central time, do it at about 5.50, maybe 5.55. Around there, should be able to watch the game. Right. Those of you curious. Um, and other news, other than our, uh, uh, regarding the, our system, um, not much has changed inside our, in the system outside of Askarov has played two games in the KHL, am amassing a 1.29 goals against average with a 0 0.906 save percentage, playing against men yet again at 19 years old. You've got to give him some credit. Most guys are still right. juniors or in college. Oh, yeah. He's, he's playing against former NHLers, giving right. him somewhat of a leg up. Now, the worst part for all of this, Konstantin Volkov has been cut by Poron Asad in Liga. In two games, he gave up 12.94 goals against average with a .643 save percentage. Oh, wow. So Nashville may not be too happy with that. Um, so that is all we have. Um, um, an update news for the Milwaukee Admirals. Ice goes in tomorrow. Um, for those of you who have not seen, the Admirals tweeted out today that the ice will go in tomorrow. Um, so we are looking forward to that. All righty. Winter Classic. Yep. All right, tell me, what's the coldest state in the United States during the winter? Alaska, right? Well, in the, it, near us. <laughs> That'd be Probably. Minnesota. All right, the time and date for the Winter Classic has been announced at 7 p.m. on January 1st. You're going to play in Minnesota at night in the winter. Yikes. It's going to be cold. <laughs> yeah, really cold. Um, it's not snowing, too. Yes. All right. Now, for those of you, you guys know I'm a Jersey snob. I'm going to let you guys in on a tidbit here. The, uh, the uh, Minnesota Wild put up their uh, uh, their um, hang on a second here. Uh, darn it. Sorry, tech issues here. Sorry, got to do this. Morning. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. Had a tech issue, had a cough issue. Um. Anyway, so the uh, Wild are taking on the Blues. This will happen, like I said, January 1st, 7 p.m. Uh, always a big thing. Winter, Winter Classic is special no matter what you do because it takes hockey back to its roots. Now, what yeah, it thing, really does. Minnesota is really known for that. This jersey, on the other hand, I'm really trying to wrap my brain around it. It matches nothing. The lines add up. They have yellow elbow patches. The helmets are a different color from everything else. Yeah, the helmets, I believe, are red, which confused me. Don't even get me started. Yeah, I mean, there is so much going on here. According to them, they are going off of the St. Paul, Minnesotans. Okay. Jersey from 1919. Okay. I'll tell you right now, you'd have been better off doing a bar strike all the way down from top to bottom. Um, reason is a unique being, jersey. Huh? 
It's a unique jersey. It is very unique. Um, the one thing I do like the crest because Minneapolis and St. Paul make up the metropolis that is the Wilds fan base. Right, they do. And and it is that they're, they're it is a very nice city. As somebody who's taken, I've taken in a couple games in Minnesota, and and I loved it going. There. I haven't, but I've been through the cities a few times. Um, I will I, uh, if if I go to one in Minnesota this year, I'm going to go to Mickey's Diner. Sorry about that. I have one of my kids walk through, and uh, I have kids, and yeah. Um, as you can hear in the background, they're having a little fun. Little baby's happy. So, <laughs> all righty. Um, as I was talking about Mickey's Diner, uh, Mickey's Diner is a restaurant that was in um, Mighty Ducks D1 and 2. I yep. believe it was in 3 2, it was a 3 at 3 two, uh, 3 as well. Um, it's a famous restaurant. They had it in um, oh, um, Jingle All the Way. They had it in quite a few movies. Um, Mickey's Diner is a, a cart a really good food. I ate there um, with our former host. Um, if we ever go out there again, I'm going to definitely go again. It was wonderful. Um, it's definitely part of the experience when you take it in. Um, so it, it's just part of it. Um, so uh, that's all I can wrap up for the Minnesota side. As far as the blue side, it looks, their jersey looks like a reverse of their last winter classic. Yeah, this it does. Being the third one that they're in. All righty. So given that, that is all I have to wear. All righty. As of October 12th, which is a new season, NHL and Adidas has worked out for a sustainable Adidas jersey starting opening night wearing the prime green high performance materials. They are Plastic waste is a problem and in, 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 in violation and in our, oh, what innovation is our solution. They are finding ways to use plastic waste to make hockey jerseys. Okay. All right. All 32 teams have been announced to have these jerseys. They are on sale right now on NHLshop.com as well okay. as um, Fanat as well as Fanatics and um, your team's local team store. Um, this is a good idea, but I think there's other solutions as well, but I'm not here to say that. So <laughs> um, I like what they're doing, and I, I, I can't wait to see how they feel. Right. Uh, um, it, it, it'll be really nice to see how these turned out. I also apologize for my little one. He is a little frustrated right now. Um, I'm going to kind of speed this up and go help out. Uh, <laughs> uh, Greg, what was that? Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost here. Uh, Ridley Greg suspended for one game for a hit on Pierre-Luc Dubois versus the Jets. He will be suspended for game number seven in the preseason and suspended for game one of the regular season under the collective bargaining agreement with Greg. Yep. Will forfeit four thousand four hundred and seventy dollars and eighty three cents. <sighs> Off the bad news topics here. Uh, do, well, oh, never mind. Still more bad news. Jack Eichel, the long, no longer uh, captain. They've put him on IR now. They have. And GM Kevin Adams has said, "I spoke with Jack two days ago." I spoke with the team yesterday and addressed this. From our perspective, you're, the captain is the heartbeat of your team. We are in a situation where we feel like we needed to make that decision. There's a lot of voice, voices that are in there that are strong, that right. are good pros. So we'll just, so we'll just instead of rushing into that, let it play out. As far as that's concerned, yeah. Also, he would like to say that at this point, we are open to a trade, like I've said before, with any player. How, 
do we make our organization better? We have a plan. We're going to stick to our plan in the short term. A little bit me medium, then longer. Okay. It's been 10 years since you've made the playoffs. I'm just kind of ad-libbing at this point with these. It's been 10 years since you made the playoffs. You drafted Jack Eichel to be a star. You have put nothing around him, giving him bad defense and poor goaltending, bad coaching, and, and bad front office. And you expect them to go and win a cup every year. The nice. Buffalo Sabres fans are the people I see. I feel sorry for. He has a neck injury. You keep him out of the lineup. You refuse to let him have a surgery. He is interested in an artificial disc replacement surgery that would put him on the shelf for three months. They could have done this during the offseason. Would have put him on the shelf for three months and two months rehab. Right. So during the offseason, we had a five-month offseason. They could have done this. He hasn't played he's since done. the season. He would have been ready for this year since the injury had they yep. done this. Had it not worked and it was not fair or healthy at this point, if they did not agree with it, they could have traded him to a team who would have let him. Right. But at this point, it's if I'm the Sabres, I take what I get and I take the best offer I get in the trade at this point. I listen to all the teams and I take what I can get. Right, you do. <clears throat> uh, and also at this point, Jack is not willing to move forward. Our doctors suggesting that is suggestion that it's a fusion surgery. Now, I'm no medical expert, but I do know about some of this stuff just from experience of watching over time. Uh, I mean, I've been a sports fan my whole life. I've played a lot. Thank God I've never had an injury like this or I've never known anybody to have an injury like this. Right. I pray that no one ever gets hurt like this, but it does happen. Less in some, more in sports like hockey and football than any other. Right. But, um, just because of the contact with, less in hockey even than football. Um, uh, that the contact happened. I remember watching the Buffalo Bills game where the guy on the punt return got hit head on and, and he was stretchered off. That was horrible. I was probably about 18 years old at the time. Um, it really made me contemplate playing a contact sport right. anymore. Um, anyway, uh, fusion surgeries, though they've been proven efficient, will probably shorten his career by about five years. Right. And is at a high end risk for um, re injury. The artificial disc replacement surgery at this point, it has never been performed on an NHL player. And they would not know how to uh, approach rest and rehabilitation. Right. Okay. So in some of this, it's, it's, some are being afraid of the unknown and the others being afraid of what is known. Right. So it's like you gotta, it's, it's really hard at this point. At what point do you just buy him out of his contract? Yeah. After this season, if he sits all season and this nothing is done, Buffalo, I blame you. You've wasted another year of this man's life, another man of the year of this man's career. You have put him on IR. You, oh, it, it, it's. I feel so bad on both for both sides. I yeah. feel bad because if he just did what they said, he'd be playing already. If if he, if they just did what he said, he would be playing already. It's it's. It's a no win here. Right. Very frustrating. For either side at this point. And it just yeah. makes both the whole organization plus him look bad. And 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 I I, I know that um their his current agent, Pat Brisson, really, uh, I mean Pat Brisson's one of the top, top agents in hockey. He manages Sidney Crosby and John Tavares. Lots of money there. 
Jack Eichel, ten million dollars a year, sitting on IR. Right. Um, I think that they've got to get to a point where they both feel comfortable with a decision made. Right. They do. There's got to be a middle ground somewhere. All righty. So on to a happy moment. All right. And and this is more of a me and John will probably watch this the beginning of this game. The New York Rangers, all-time leader in wins, shutouts, will be honored before the game against the Wild, January 28th. Henrik right. Lundqvist will have the number 30 hanging in the rafters inside the garden. Look, me and John, as former athletes, no matter what team we played, would have played for playing pro, even, if minors, even, no, right. the, matter. Uh, the idea of playing at the Garden, playing at Staples Center, playing at some of these iconic venues, yeah, is what the dream's all about as a kid. You know, right? It really is. You know, you 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 grow up watching games at these venues. You grow up watching. Like my dream was to play at our home arena back back before um, Pfizer was built was the Bradley Center. I always wanted to play a game there, never got to. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I think that I cannot state how happy I am for Lundquist. Now, do I wish he had oh, a, yeah. a, a cup? Um, it, it is sad that his career ended uh, the way it did with the heart thing, but I'm glad that they caught it. I'm glad right. he was healthy of course. Then. But I don't think it's necessary for him to come back. And I'm so glad that that they're honoring him. I felt like towards the end. Um, Lundqvist will be the 11th player retired by the Rangers. Um, Ed uh, Giacomin, uh Brian Leach, Hall of Famer, Hockey Hall of Famer. Yep. Uh, Harry Howell, Hockey Hall of Famer. Brad, Rod Gilbert, Hockey Hall of Famer. Andy Bathgate, Adam Graves, Vic Hadfield. Mark Messier, Hockey Hall of Famer, Gene Rotel, Mike Richter, Hockey Hall of Famer, and Wisconsin yeah. Badger Hall of Famer. Had to throw the Badger love in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, I, 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 I know how much the Rangers base, as a Sabres fan, loves uh, Hank. Uh, he is, to them, what Hasek is to the Sabres right. and what wise to Colorado he is what Lolongo is to Florida and Vancouver yeah he there what Pekka is to Nashville yeah when you have a staple goaltender for more than 14 for more than a decade and your fans love this player it is so special it really is and uh, I'm glad to be able to have these uh, types of moments happen and where we are able to cover them. Yeah. Uh, because as, as, as a fan of the game beyond this, um, right. as a fan of the game, because what's good for the game is good for. And, and that's really the truth. Right. Um, we are really looking forward to it. And final note, I'm going to say that uh, we wish him well in his retirement. Yeah. Um, we hope to have our own announcements about some of that stuff maybe on our end happening. We don't know. Um, like I said, uh, I've, I've been digging and clawing and trying to hope to pry something out of somebody, but I know nothing at this point. We I... just know one thing. <laughs> Hockey's coming. Yeah. And for those of you in Milwaukee, phone number is, uh, well, uh, uh, here, up there, 414-227-0550. Call Milwaukee Admirals for all your ticket needs for a home opener, October 16th against the Grand Rapids Griffins. It's Griffins. Um, we are really looking forward to, to hockey coming back, being back in the building seeing all of everything that the Admirals have to offer. 
being able to see guys come out of the tunnel, seeing guys in the locker room, fist bumping, being happy, right. and enjoying the game. Um, and final, I would like to say thank you to everyone watching. Thank you to all our new likes, all our new followers, and all our new subscribers. Yes, thank you. Thank you to everyone who watches. Thank you for those who sat here through this. And uh, um, we hope to see you guys again soon. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. I will see you guys later. Hockey locker. Yes. The <laughs>